super shot. That would have given him a share of the lead. At least momentarily. 30 opportunities coming up for Marco Mira and Corey Pavin. Great shot, Mark Rolfing. And let's head over to Bob Trumpy. Joel Fairway 17. Fred Couples 112 to the pin. That disjointed yet controlled swing of Freddie Couples. How about it? Oh, right there. That putt to go 26 under par in the tournament, gentlemen. And back to 16. Reminds me of some of my shots, Bob. We played here on Tuesday, but unfortunately for me, it was my fourth or fifth shot. If we look at Corey Pavin. And the reception here at the 18th green for Raymond Floyd. And he struggled a bit yesterday in the last three holes. He struggled today the last three holes. Let's go back out to Corey Pavin. Birdie try. Not much of a break. Breaks a little to the right. Very doesn't little. It, Joel? Very little, John. Got to putt through that shadow. It's hard to read the green through those shadows. Everybody's been leaving it left. That was not his normal stroke, by the way. I don't know what happened there, but that was not the normal Corey Pavin stroke. Didn't have much rhythm on that. Well, when we were looking at Raymond Floyd, Marco, or not Marco Miro, but Tim Simpson, rather, tapped in for his par. He stays one shot off the lead. Corey Pavin with his par at 16, and now Marco Mira to gain the outright lead with his birdie attempt coming up. Mark Rolfing was just talking about this course, and the scores are very misleading. We played it earlier this week and can be a tight, intimidating course at times. The pros, though, don't find it a very long course. Joel, I think it's a shot maker's course. You know, Johnny talked about Corey Pavin being a shot maker. As we watch course. Mark O'Meara here now, the one thing he wanted Corey to do was get the ball to the hole so he could see what the exact break was going to be. Corey did not do that. I actually think he liked it coming up short. <laughs> As work. opposed to going in, I right, Johnny? I've seen too many putts short go in, so. Safe to say. It's an easy putt to read. It really is. I mean, I'll be curious to see if Mark can keep that golden stroke he has the rhythm you know Corey there knew he had an opportunity to maybe actually go in the lead for the first time shadows a problem well possibly we I mentioned that earlier but this is not going to do a lot of breaking should make a good run at this left and outside left it looks like it's inside left edge but everybody's been leaving it outside left so that tap in for par and Mark O'Meara remains in a tie for the lead with Corey Pavin as we return to the beautiful Southern California desert. The other day we were out at number seven, a long par five. Yeah. Uh -huh. He drives 250, 260, leaves him maybe 270 to get Roger. home. Walks up, yeah. takes his driver again. Yeah. Charlie, Joe, Couples yeah. makes this putt. It's 26, so he's going for eagle on 18. Green. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. He turns to me and he smiles right. and he says, Larry, maybe I I'm shouldn't headed. use T's anymore. <laughs> Whenever you hear someone remembering longest drives, remember, more of the longest drives are hit with the longest balls. Top flight. This lady came in the other day. Some station downtown told her she needed new brakes and said it'd take four days. But you know, she only has the one car and she had to get to work and missing one night of tv wasn't gonna hurt me so i told her sure i'd stay and get it done good service is why people choose a place like harlan motors and why places like harlan motors choose usf and g insurance and their independent agents usf and g standing behind me coming in march unprecedented coverage of the greatest event in skating the World Figure Skating Championships, March 15th through 17th on NBC. We are back live. Here is Raymond Floyd. Got a free drop from the grandstands. A little firm. Good shot. Take a look at his eyes. Boy, when he has that look, you know he's playing well. When I talked to him yesterday, I'm playing so well, it scares me. Here's Bob Trumpy. <laughs> Co-leader, Corey Pavin, 17. 398 dog, 398-yard uh, dog leg left, and oh, ugly. But he rolled it through the... Oh, that's a good break right there. And he got very lucky. He rolled it past the eucalyptus tree. He's, he's in good shape. Oh. 
A sigh of relief. Uh, Hook's not working for him right now, but he doesn't have to worry about hitting any more of those. A moment ago at 17 for Birdie, Fred Couples. Hmm? Fred Couples. Pretty straight putt. Uh, it breaks left, and he hit it through the break. I think he tried to fire it through there. Here's Mark O'Meara with an iron off 17. Swing, Again, man. John, as you said, sets up perfectly for Mark O'Meara around the eucalyptus tree, right down the middle of the fairway. It takes some real, you know, guts to be able to pull out an iron there. It's very tempting to hit a wood and get it down there, but um, sort of shows the mark of a thinking champion. Yeah, now, uh, uh, Johnny, oh, wouldn't you agree, right, Tim Simpson back. has to feel fortunate here. He's one shot back, and the two guys he played with both made par in the last hole, so he's still in it here. And both have fairly long second shots with that front pin, so if he can get that wood down there, he might be able to pick up a shot here. Looked to me like he's high, firing it up over the eucalyptus tree. He said he popped it up. You can read lips. He said, geez, I popped it up. Well, our last group is in the fairway at 17. Final round of the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. Co-leaders, O'Meara and Pavin, 28 under par. Tonight, sometimes love and devotion can win in the war on drugs. See how this infant beat the odds in his helping teenagers say no. Real life with Jane Bond. Then, Brazilian vigilantes are killing street kids who hassle American tourists. Meet the man who is risking his life to stop the killing. On Expose, right after Real Life Tonight. Now, will you stop it right now? Boys, would you cut it out? Stop it. Stop fighting. Stop it now. Do you hear me? Hello? Hi, honey. Dad, I can't talk right now. Oh, wow. Uh... A world-famous manufacturer made 80,000 warm-up suits, sold 72,000. What happened to the rest? An American designer made 65,000 men's suits, sold 59,000 to suit stores. What happened to the rest? A children's clothing manufacturer made 75,000 garments. Children's stores bought 68,000. What happened to the rest? All designer and brand names, all at off price, all the time. Those April showers. Dinner with Amanda. You remember that? Conference in Colorado? Ah, yes. You used to hate April. Taxes, sorting through receipts. But as a Gold Card member, you get this year-end summary of charges. Itemized, civilized, far less taxing. Whenever April showers. The Gold Card. Only from American Express. Don't leave home without it. Voices from Israel with Gay Pressman, Tuesday night at 6. The Bob Hope Chrysler Classic is brought to you by the Nestle family of companies and their fine products. Nestle makes the very best. By Liberty Mutual. For your insurance and financial service needs, America believes in Liberty Mutual. And by Chrysler, where luxury is engineered to give you the advantage. Here at the 18th, Raymond Floyd for birdie. Remember that short putt he missed yesterday? Straight in. This one he has back-to-back -back 64s here at Indian Wells. Rounds of 71, 68, 66, 64, 64, 27 under. Great tournament, huh? That's Tim Simpson in the fairway at 17. Mark Ropping's out there. Yardage, Mark? 160 yards exactly, Bob. Right there. Right there. Uh, above the pin, downhill putt, but... This pin only cut eight from the front today. He had 152 to the front edge, so delicate little shot, even though he drove it in the fairway. Played sort of a safe shot, don't you think there, Mark? You know, he hit the same shot he tried to hit at 15, John. He turned it from the right, and with that front right pin, it's tough to get it close. It is. You know, I think if you were a shot ahead, that'd be a good shot to play, but... With Mark O'Meara in the fairway here, he definitely should be thinking birdie. How about paving, though, Mark? Distance? Haven's got 152 yards. Had a little chuckle about his tee shot, telling the gallery that's the way he had intended to play it. Roll it under the tree. 
a little slider here. I think his practice swings, he was practicing a slider swing, a little left to right. Got a lot of dirt with it, Johnny. Yeah, that stayed straight, too. Just past pin high. Well, that's a straight ball. He said, where's the fade when you need it? Now, what's uh, Marco Mira's distance there, Mark? Just inside, Pavin, 151, and this is the kind of shot Marco Mira loves. This green has received the ball very, very well today, Mark. He can throw it right at the flag, and it should stick there. Don't pull it. Uh, bunker makes Marcus. you pull it. He down. pulled it right in the oh. middle of the green. Oh, gosh darn it. So our final group is now in the 17th hole. 28 under par leads in the deserts of Southern California. My husband, Elliot, he's an inventor. He's made a very good life for both of us. Last year, this big company paid a lot of money for one of his ideas. Elliot even thought about opening his own company. But in the end, we decided to invest the money. Besides, I'm not sure Elliot's cut out to work in an office anyway. To invest tax-free with John Newbean and company, call your financial advisor or this number. The 1991 Chrysler LeBaron Convertible. And you thought only the moon inspired passion. Now, with $1,000 cash back, LeBaron Convertible is even easier to own. He just came over and said, boy, I've looked at these, it looked pretty good, and he yanked a couple of long irons out and just hit these ripping, high-cutting one irons and two irons. I mean, it took him no time at all to get used to these things, and he just kind of threw his back, yeah, it feels pretty good, but you think I can get a set of those? This is four weeks ago, amateur Phil Mickelson, the final hole of Northern Telecom Open in Tucson, Arizona. And with that birdie putt, the junior at Arizona State became the first amateur to win a PGA Tour event in six years, the second in 37 years. That goes with the NCAA championships that he has won, U.S. Amateur Championships, and you can see him on NBC. If he makes the cut next weekend, he'll be playing at the Shearson Lehman Brothers Open, joining defending champion Dan Forsman. And NBC will be there. Back to our coverage. Here's Freddie Couples and his second shot at 18. And it is over the green and into the bunker. Boy, he thought he had it right on the money there. Just a little pumped up, I guess. Beautiful shot. Now that's 501 yards to the pin. So in two shots, he's uh, around 515. And boom, he, boom. Yeah, and he hit the tree on the drive. <laughs> otherwise, it would still been going. Well, these guys don't hit it quite that far. Tim Simpson will be the first of these three to putt. Uh, John, again, this, this ball is downhill and will drift slightly right, uh, right at the cup. I think all those guys had good intention on that pin. Every one of them was trying to knock it close, and every one of them just uh, bailed out a little there, you know. Last minute, don't go in the bunker. That slides to the right, the second That's half. got a chance, that's oh, got a chance. Oh, it didn't slide. Oh, he, he's got a heart attack right there. Johnny, I am up on the 18th tee, directly behind that putt, and there is no way that ball doesn't fall in the hole to the right. Man, did that look good. We just saw Ray Floyd from just a few feet off that. It broke about six inches. The speed was absolutely perfect. Man. That was a hell of a try. Well, you heard Corey Pavin say, hell of a try. Watch this putt right here. He's just slightly above Floyd's line, and I guess that's the difference. It starts at the left edge. It's staying the left edge. It should go right in the hole, and it's a, I'm not going in. Can't do any better now. Just need a little more luck, I guess. Well, Corey Pavin sure got a good look at that one, Bob Trump. You've been watching him all day, but... As you watch, Corey, yes, Mark, I've been here for quite a while watching putts, and... Again, this will drift right as you watch the Epson ticker. Pick out your favorite golfer. You can see his score. A lot of minuses. 
this week. 94 rounds at Indian Wells under par this week. Wow. And this putt for sole possession of the lead. That's going right. No, nope. it's just what, just a foot or two to the right uh, of of where Tim was. Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Just That's a little, just that difference there we were talking about yes. makes uh, all the difference in the world. Now Marco Mira is another three feet to the right of Corey, and his will break considerably more. I think that he'll learn though from Corey's, uh, where I would say. Tim Simpson's putt really messed Corey up. I think Corey probably wanted to play the break, but after watching Tim's, he just said, gee, I guess it's not going to break. Well, Marco Mira started the day 24 under par. He was three under on the front side. His last birdie was 14. So he's played two, and this is third hole without a birdie. little breeze is picking up back here at 17. We are right next to the Santa Rosa Mountains. Well, what's the prediction on the line here? About six, eight inches left of the hole? Uh, easily. Because okay. when this dies, it really starts dropping right. You know, it's really not the kind of putt you can expect to make, but we'll see what happens. Started well above the hole. Yeah, he played it. Looks good from off. here, Johnny. No. He turned that blade down right at impact, which is good to keep it from sliding off the face. But when he did that, it kept it from breaking. Well, he, that's the difference, though, between him and us. Uh, he missed it on the pro side, and we usually miss him on the downside of the cup. He gave it a shot. Yeah, the second shots let him down there. They left himself very awkward putt. So he remains at 28 under. And of course, to remind you, the uh, playoff hole is 17. they will play 17 and 18 until... Someone wins in sudden victory. Now, this is about the length of putt that Freddie Couples missed from above the cup, John. This has got more break in it than you can believe. And I think Corey realizes that. Yeah, these get a little longer at this stage of the game. This one will drift right unless he hits it solid. It's considerably uphill. Corey Pavin, Marco Mira, 20 and under par, head to the final hole of the 32nd Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. Few people really understand money. How to make the most of it. How to use it effectively. To most people, money isn't funny. It's serious business. If you're concerned about your money and your family's future, ask your financial representative about the investment products of Kemper Financial Services. Because you shouldn't lose sleep worrying about your investments. Kemper, a concern for your future. A Michelin tire can give you enough miles to circle the world more than two times. to grandma's mission because so much is riding on your tires Corey Pavin on the tee at 18 Johnny when I talked to him on the putting green he was so focused I don't think he even remembers will ever remember talking to me his mind was in that zone ready for today's round he has big big tee shot here he wants to hit a little soft draw off those trees he must have hit a good he's not even watching it. he did just that Johnny he had hit two hooks in a row, attempted hooks very well, and I was wondering if he was going to be able to see third time's a charm here. And he pulled it off. Big tee shot. Boy, I'll tell you, puts the pressure right on Mark here. If he hits in those bunkers, Corey might say, thanks for the memories. 10 of 13 fairways. Those traps are tough, and if you hit it in the lip of that trap, it's really full of sand and will bury. But I don't see it. Sets up perfectly, like we said, a little right to left. Ball needs to hang on. It's headed toward the bunker. Go. All right, Mark. Ooh, Ooh boy. Okay. Okay. He flirted with the bunker. He got away with it. That's a great tee shot under the pressure, Johnny, after Corey drove it in the fairway. Yeah, that was ideal. See if Timson can keep that tempo right and not get quick. Stop. Thank you. 
work. Three good drives. Close to the tree. As we take a look at the leaderboard, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our host for this week from the beautiful and historic La Quinta Hotel for their wonderful hospitality. What an absolutely gorgeous hideaway, and everybody is so nice. My favorite restaurant, Morgan's, named for my granddaughter. Back in a moment. Chrysler Fifth Avenue, Imperial, and New Yorker Salon are all engineered with ABS brakes, so you're safer when you drive. With our hands-free visor phone, you're safe at home. Our remote entry system means you're safer at night. And our driver's airbag means you're safer in an accident. Chrysler safety. Because the most important thing that goes into our cars is you. Now, with up to $1,000 cash back, the best from Chrysler is even easier to own. Jerry comes in every Saturday. Last week, he wants copper pipe and solder. Now, I know Jerry, so I say, don't forget to shine the joints before you flux. And he says, flux? So I told him to call me if he hit a snag. I think he called 11 times. Good service is why people choose a place like Evers Hardware Store, and why places like Evers Hardware choose USF&G Insurance and their independent agents. USF&G is standing behind me. Famous physicist, Sir Isaac Newton for Callaway Golf. Gravity. Gravity. Aha! The laws of physics also apply to golf. On this club, weight here and then is useless. No good. Callaway gets rid of it. See? No neck. And puts that weight here where you strike the ball. Therefore, Callaway lets you hit harder without swinging harder. And you can't argue with physics. Callaway. Available at fine golf shops everywhere. Six-time Player of the Year, Tom Watson, Craig Stadler, and a field of golfing greats tee off of the Shearson Lehman Brothers Open next weekend on NBC. How much? This was Freddie Couples for Birdie. And finish with a round of 67, 26 under. Look at those sixes. You string them and you're not even in the chase. Wow. Good plan, though. Doesn't oh, that yeah. look nice? And Scott Hoke. He was in the water here. He had this for par. Mm. Left it out. He finished bogey bogey in a round of 60. Mm. Lane McAllister rounding out the group. Had his par a round of 68. And he finished at 25 under. And so now the stage is cleared. As we'll go down the 18th to Mark Roffin. All right, Charlie, Tim Simpson's going to play first here. We're going to have an interesting situation occurring between Corey Pavin and Mark O'Meara. Their ball's almost exactly similar distance from the green. And Johnny Miller, given that situation, wouldn't you like to hit first into this green? Uh, I think so. You know, I don't think any of the players really care that much. They just want to do, hit a good plus, shot here, the shot they want. The ideal shot is hitting it just the inside the bunker and draw it. And let's hear what they're going to, what they're thinking about. You want to flat back there and take the water out of the blood. He said he's got to make ego. I think what he just said is absolutely the wrong thinking. I really do. There's not enough green to fly it all the way back there. You go where Fred Couples did. You should try to hit it just on the front part of that green with a little draw and the funnel right in next to the pin. We've seen many eagles today and they've all been the same way. Johnny's got 209 yards to the front edge, so given your situation, you'd like to see him carry it about 215. I'll be doing good to get it to the front. I can't get it back there. Well, the problem is, is he, you know, it, like I said, he doesn't like to play a draw, but he's got a draw stance. The ball is, what, two or three inches above his feet, Mark? Just a little bit above his feet, and, yes. And it just hit a gentle draw on the way that that big uh, rise in the green, it'll just shoot it left if he can hit it onto the right side of the green. It'll go right down 10 feet from the hole. Bite. Dang it, I hit it too good. Bite. Bite. He did, and he hit it too good, just as Fred Couples did before him, just as you said that he would. He did exactly what I think he shouldn't have done. He tried to fly it on the top tier, and you just can't stop it with a two or three iron on the top tier. 
Good shot, though. It was a terrific shot. Like he said, he hit it too good. Pay went off to a great start. Tied for ninth at Tucson. Tied for 16th in Hawaii. Tied for second at Pebble. 140,300. And the winning check here, 198,000. Second place, 118,800. Third prize, 74,800. Corey going with a finesse fairway wood here. It'd be interesting the kind of shot he hits. He didn't like it either, did he? ball, Johnny. It's headed right. Bailed out. Got a good bounce. Good bounce into the flat of the bunker. There's a case of nerves getting you right there. I know he had good intention. The last minute just said, I'm not going in the water. Mark, I think, has sort of got the door open right here. I think he just hit a little soft draw in there right under the middle of the green. He's going with the iron, Johnny. Yeah. You don't try to hit this high. He's got a downhill live. This one's headed right also. Nerves beginning to tell just a little here at the 90th hole. We'll be back in just a moment. Every week on the PGA Tour, a separate event takes place on the first tee. Morning, guys. What ball are you playing? Titleist. 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 The official ball count. Titleist. 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 The weekly match of golf ball superiority, according to the world's best golfers. Ball? Titleist. 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 Of course, not every single pro plays Titleist. It just seems that way. Not another frozen pizza. Cardboard crust makes my teeth ache. Hey, what's this? Stouffer's round pizza? Well, it looks different, but I don't know. Wow, this is great. Real cheese, don't always get that. Come on, come on, spin me again. <laughs> These toppings, lots of good stuff here, boy. And this Stouffer's crust. Is this like a frozen? No, I love it. Stouffer's round pizza is a cut above frozen. Hey, mind if I cut in? Ha! <laughs> Life Begins at 60 by Shearson Lehman Brothers. Life expectancies are increasing. For a man retiring at age 62, the average length of retirement is now 17 years. For a woman, 20 years. Having a substantial nest egg has always been wise. Now it's absolutely essential. Talk with us. Shearson Lehman Brothers. The Bob Hope Chrysler Classic is brought to you by Chrysler, where luxury is engineered to give you the advantage. By John Newbean and Company, specialists in tax-free investments since 1898. And by Titleist, the number one ball in golf. And this was the arrival of the final threesome. Mark O'Meara, Tim Simpson, and Corey Pavin here at the 18th. And Johnny, let's go back to the shot of Corey Pavin. Well, I question Corey's club selection because what happens here is when you try to hit a soft fairway wood from 217 yards, the shot should be a soft fade to the right. He should have played more club and tried to draw it in there, but you watch here, pretty good swing, gets a little ahead of it right there, a little late in squaring, squaring up the club face at impact, and you can see his follow through is too far straight up. It's not a draw shot. I think here, he, here he is in the bunker. Great shot. Four feet away. Seventy fifth in sand saves last year as you go down to the third category. Charlie, you know, a lot of the amateurs watching right now would probably dread being in the greenside bunker where Corey Pavin was, but I actually think he had an easier shot than the one Mark O'Meara's got. Mark's got a little bit of a downhill lie in the rough, but he's pitching it to an uphill green, and that's always a tough one. Mark, you know, the key was he was about four feet right of Mark, and the ridge accepted Corey's shot, but Mark has got this ridge right on his line. He can't chip and run it, otherwise it'll break a mile. 
and it, he's got a tough selection where you throw it over on top of the ridge and take a chance of hitting it fluffy or too long. I think he's got a very difficult shot. That three-foot difference might be the difference in who wins. Johnny, he's got a lofted club. I think he'll take a fairly long swing. I think he has to go over the ridge. Oh, he hit a great. Oh, he played that nicely. Hit a great shot. And he may be just inside of Corey Bailey. Boy, that was a terrific shot under the cir circumstances. Is that his third wedge that he was carrying with him? I don't know. Probably his first now. <laughs> It'll move up in <laughs> rankings, won't it? Boy, that was a good shot. It really was. He had to take a, such a long swing, Johnny. I mean, he could have hit that uh, heavy and hit it short into the ridge and it rolled down the hill. It made him look pretty silly or hit a thin way past. But uh, don't count this Tim Simpson out either. He's got the ball right in the middle of the bunker, just slightly downhill, but it's the kind of shot that you could hold. He has to make it for the eagle. Oh, oh, break right now. Just a little to the left of the pin. I think he was real surprised that ball kicked left and not mm -hmm. right. Usually out of the bunker, the ball spin right, and that ball went left. Good shot, though. You talk about knee knockers, I'm telling you, there's three of them right there. And here's the situation. <laughs> Mark O'Meara and Corey Pavin tied for the lead at 28 under par. Tim Simpson is a shot back at 27. Ray Floyd in the clubhouse at 27. I tell you, I, I only wish wish that we had uh, uh, could take blood pressure readings here and uh, pulse readings. You'd be pretty surprised. <laughs> they go right through the ceiling, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'm telling you, Corey's over there sweating bullets. But he's a cool c customer, I'll tell you. Mark, you've been following this group all day. The new putter of Tim Simpson. How has it worked for him? Well, quite a bit better than yesterday. Three putted four times yesterday over at PGA West. We saw him make a lot of putts today, and he hit two terrific putts that didn't go in, particularly the one at 17. I know he was real disappointed in that one. Mark, don't you think this is a tough putt to make because he knows now he cannot get in the playoff. He has no chance to win, and it's really hard to get up for this putt. It really is, but I'll tell you, it's worth a lot of money, Johnny. Yeah, well, maybe he's thinking that, too. Shouldn't have much trouble. Dead straight. I mean, he can't get a straighter putt than all three of these guys' putts. Solo third worth $74,000. Well, there's one guy broke the 90 hole record. Mm -hmm. Johnny, I like Corey Pavin's putt better than Mark O'Meara's, even though he's away. It's a little more up the hill. Well, Trevino always said first man in might win, and uh, yeah, I really think they're both going to make it, though. We'll just see. See what kind of nerves they got. This is the kind of captain uh, Dave Stockton's looking for. He's hoping that these guys have the nerves to be able to make this an upcoming Ryder Cup. We saw Raymond Floyd miss it from a shorter distance than this yesterday here. Die and the playoff, or Corey Pavin wins the championship. Charlie, these two have been going at it for years and years. Marco Mira, Long Beach State, Corey Pavin, UCLA, all the way back to junior golf in Southern California. But the only way he can miss it is just sort of gag, to be honest with you. It's dead straight. He knows it's dead straight. It's just a case of hitting a reasonable putt, not even a reasonable one will go in left center, right center. playoff. 
And great play. 29 for Taz, Evan and Simpson. And as the golfers kind of take a deep breath, so will we. Back with the playoff, they will be moving to 17. But in the real world, they take solid planning. So, piece of advice are the dream. Come to the prudential and build future on the rock. <laughs> this the other day, we're out at number seven, a long oh, par five. five. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. He drives 250, 260, leaves him maybe 270 at home. Walks up, yeah. takes his driver again, pow, right off the deck. to me and he says, maybe I shouldn't use tees anymore. Whenever you bring longest drive, remember, more of the longest drives are hit with the longest balls. Top flight. This sudden death playoff is brought to you by Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Welcome to the Bob Hope Crusher Classic. Go back to the 15th and Go Corey Pavin, the par three, listen. Go and he thought he had the hole in one, and if he had it, of course, he would be the champion. Golf shot. Isn't this a gorgeous sight? Corey Pavin, as a no, sudden death, Marco Mira, 0 oh and 2. Hmm. And of course, a great part of this this whole week, the amateur competition along with the professionals. And here's Joel Myers. Joel? This is now the use of the amateur division. Safe to say that Chipper, you are not a member of this team? For Hope, I'm a teacher. Congratulations, gentlemen, on winning the amateur division of the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. And Bob, it was a great day yesterday, a great oh. four days preceding the final Sunday. Never had any better weather and any better teams and any better play. And I had to help them a little bit with the finish. And right. I had a lot of inspiration because they following me around all day. Congratulations, again, gentlemen. And for the amateurs, there was a, a tie, and they had the matching of the cards and the original information that everybody received that they matched from the 18th hole going back. And uh, Jason Bateman, Dean Spanos, and Robert McDonald. Well, they thought that they were going to win, but they just said from the these were the amateurs that don't know. Uh, so, hey, golf is a family affair, isn't it, Johnny Miller? It is, and I think uh, that's the strongest bond out here. It gets pretty lonely in those hotel rooms, and it's really wonderful to have your family with you and puts things in perspective. Tell me about the mindset now for sudden death. It's a, it's match play, but in eight or nine holes, it's match play. Right? Sort of. Oh, I'm sure Marco Mir says he's 0-2 in playoffs. And I'm sure two and O's. Uh, that could be a difference, but who knows? Maybe it's Mark's turn, and uh, anything can happen here. That's why they call it sudden death. We'll start it all in 17th, and we will return in just a moment to the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. Mark O'Mara, Corey, and title. thought humanly possible presenting the $9,500 advantage it comes with the Chrysler Parker Fifth Avenue which comes with a fuel-efficient 3.3 liter v6 a standard driver's airbag sedan and a price $95 then Cadillacs at DeVille Chrysler Fifth Avenue luxury $9,500 advantage now with $1,000 cash back, Chrysler Fifth Avenue 
even easier to own. He just came over and said, boy, I've looked at these. It looks pretty good. And he yanked a couple of long irons out. Hit these. Cutting one irons and two irons. I took him no time at all to get used to these things. He just kind of threw his back. Good. Do you think out of those? You can pound them, you know, hit them hard and, and, and go for the kill, or uh, they've got a lot of touch. And I think they're durable. Uh, I've, I've buried quite a few <laughs> wedges and nine irons into the turf and pulled them back out, and they look the same every time. In sudden death, Corey Haven defeated Dave Farr and in playoff. Miro lost to Eichelberger and Gilder. Let's go out to Mark Rolfe. Mark? All right, Wade has two numbers in his hand, Charlie. He's Corey Pavin will pick first. Number two. All right, mark your first. He gets second. Here. Thank you, Ben. Iron again. The iron jet. Beautiful tee shot here before. Of course, Corey Pavin had trouble with it. He hit the low hook. It turned out pretty good, but... Yeah, the more I got thinking about Corey, I'm not so sure he wasn't trying to sort of hit a low hook under that eucalyptus. You know, it'll be interesting to see if he does something similar. Okay, the 17, the bars have been re-raked. And for sudden death, O'Meara, final round 67 to get the playoff. Good swing, Mark. Same exact shot he hit before here, Bob. Uh, right middle of the fairway, considerable, but certainly safe. Now, Corey Pavin, round 65. Teeing it up on the right-hand side of the tee. Going to try and work it right to left. Well, Mark, it wouldn't take much to improve on his drive a few minutes ago here at 17, right? No, Johnny said, well, he probably was trying to hit a low. Only pulled it. This guy's got so many shots. You can't really. What I thought about it, maybe it wasn't quite what he was thinking about, but not too far off. We'll see what he does there. See if he goes over the tree or around it or under it. He hit it low, but it's not hooking, Johnny. He's skidding toward the right-hand side of the fairway. Uh, Mark, he's got trouble. Trees are overhanging his shot. Goodness. But he still hit it onto the left center of the, the green. Yeah, punch it up there at best. This was his, um, this was the 89th hole. His drive, it hooks on the big eucalyptus tree there on the left. Rolls no, through. No. Well, you can see. Sudden death will continue. Haven and, and Indian Wells will continue after these important messages from your local stations. For 30 years, you've witnessed a living legend's inspirational fight for justice. Now, Perry Mason faces his most dangerous enemy, his own client. It could mean the end of a television... Perry! Perry Mason missed on NBC Monday. is a long way from downtown Chicago. Riding mass transit. Working late every night. You've raised that got you the that got you the phone number that arranged wherever you want them. But you always want them in Montana. The gold card. Only from American Express. Don't leave home without it. A world famous Manufacturer made 80,000 warm-up suits. What happened to the rest? An American designer made 65,000 men. 59,000 suit stores. What happened to the rest? A children's clothing manufacturer made 75,000 garments. Children's stores bought 68,000. What happened to the rest? Designer and brand names. Price. Time. Tuesday night at 7. A look at 17, 398 yards, the dog leg left. You'll see the big dominant eucalyptus right there at the bend of the fairway. The bunker is 268 yards from the tee. And the pin today, right, eight on the right. Corey Payne, five right. Charlie? All shots that you're seeing, the Fuji USA blimp. 
one of the newest and most high-tech airships in the sky today, powered by two turbocharged Porsche engines. Listen, this ship can reach a speed of 65 miles an hour. I didn't realize it could go that fast, can stay afloat. 24 miles out there. Corey have a pin, Mark? Bob, I don't think Corey is even stick on this green right now. All he is thinking about is the green itself. He's standing well below the ball, He's got 60 yards. It up, doesn't he, Mark? Oh, he's hit it right. No? Comes up short, just in the rough. Is deep. Maybe the deep in the course, bordering that front green side ball. With the an easy shot. Well, and the door wide open for Mark O'Meara to win his first playoff. By the way, these two, even though official, played sudden death uh, at Kapalua. Um, the winner got $150,000. So, familiar. Left of the pin. How far did he hit? He had 152 this time. 151 the first time, and again, a similar shot. Okay, O'Meara on the green, and Pavin just short. We'll continue the Bob Hope Chrysler Classic. We're in open sudden death. Every week on the PGA Tour, a separate the first team. Morning, guys. What ball are you playing? Titleist. 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 The official ball count. Titleist. 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 Weekly match of golf ball superiority, according to the world's best golfers. Ball? Titleist. Titleist. Not every single pro plays Titleist. Chrysler Fifth Avenue, Imperial, and New Yorker Salon are all engineered with ABS brakes, so you're safer when you drive. With our hands-free visor phone, you're safer making a call. Our remote entry means you're safer. And our driver's air means you're safer in an act. Chrysler Safety. Because the thing that goes to our cars is you. Now, with up to $1,000 cash back, the best from Chrysler is even easier. A little brains, a little luck, and a lot of late nights. Good family, a good job, some good advice. It's the way supposed to be. And you and F and G are standing behind me. That's the way it's supposed to be. And you and F and G are standing behind me. Johnny Miller, you said Corey Payton. One here, deep rough, front green. Look at this. Look at this. Wall. And he does. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. Face. You sure that Greg Norman had? Corey is encouraging the but so that Mark O'Meara Mark behind it. How do you read it, Mark? Well, it's a little bit of a different line than the one he had before, Bob. This is a flatter putt. I don't think it'll break quite as much. He never even looked up when Corey and hold that shot to make got that putt that's sort of got a tricky read. Let's see if he can handle it. The same putt he had a little while ago. Yeah. 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 Bob 
Chrysler Classic. He won in 1987. And what a dramatic little flop wedge from the front of the 17th green. Let's go to Mark Rolfing. Congratulations, Dad. All right, David. Indian Wells is your favorite in the desert. I will remember that one forever. You like that one too? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, it was a, it was a chip that I felt like I could make even after uh, I hit the shot there. I knew it was an uphill chip, but you know, to make it is something else. But uh, you know, I was, it's been a long time since I'm really excited. And my wife Shannon and this guy they inspired me. To, uh, thank you. And Dick Cooper, to thank also. Well, you've won the boat before. I know winning this tournament means an awful lot to you. It does. It's uh, it's 90 holes. It's uh, it's a battle from the start. Uh, you have to shoot great all the way down, uh, all the way through it. And uh, I just I a week. All right. Well, back up to you, Charlie. All right. His name is over for his congratulations and the reaction of Marco as he watched the shot. Go. Shannon. They have a swall, a little hard right there. Oh, yes. Uh, that's nice, nice 